Hey guys and welcome to Griffo's Retro Gaming and today I'm doing a bit of a different video because I don't know if anyone's done this, I haven't even bothered to look but it's a video on Music Magpie and I'm not looking to direct hate or anything like that because I'll go through the process and you're not forced into it whatsoever. However, the I was alarmed by what they were doing so I'll Go into that in a moment. I just want to say that I was looking through a few of my games, looking at values, things like that, and I was going through CEX because that's usually the easiest way to check values rather than going through sold listings on eBay. I think CEX do that anyway, so you've pretty much got that price. It's not bang on, but yeah, it gives you a rough idea. I thought, you know what, I'm going to have a look at Music Magpie, see what they would offer for games, and... Wow. Okay. So, straight off the bat, I'll say it's not very good. <laughs> and I'm going to show you some of the uh, wacky prices. But this is going through the app. And through the app, you can sell tech. They're a lot like CEX in that respect. So, they're taking mobile phones and laptops. I'm not sure about cameras or anything like that. And... You can sell CDs, DVDs, books, and games. And, yeah, once you press the button, it brings up a barcode scanner. And the idea is you scan the barcode and it gives you the value. Once you've got the prices together, it's then up to you if you want to choose to sell to Music Magpie or you can just quit out and not bother. I should also say as well that with music magpie the the quota price to begin with you send it in and say the instruction manuals missing or anything like that you're going to get a lower price than what you was quoted so do bear that in mind if you do sell to music magpie but after this video i don't see why you would want to anyway <laughs> so i've got a few games that i'm going to scan in i've got a cheap one and middle of the roads and an expensive one and i'll just go through those just give you an idea of what i'm going to be looking at so the first game is my horse and me 2 on the nintendo ds very cheap game cheers eddie i still haven't played that um next up is dragon quest brilliant game return uh sorry journey of the curse king and yeah absolutely brilliant on the 3ds it's also on the PS2, which I picked up from Dana at Doncaster. Uh, another, well, the next two games are off Eddie as well, but I bought these. So, um, first one is Resident Evil Deadly Silence. Oh, I should say that Dragon Quest is roughly a £40 game, as is Resident Evil Deadly Silence, which is a part of the original Resident Evil off the PlayStation and Saturn and whatever else it was on and yeah it plays quite well but this is a 40 pound game in cex roughly i will put the values up in the corner i'm unsure of what the trading value is as well so um like i say i'll put that in the top corner so you can see and the next one off eddie was castlevania mirror of fate um for the 3DS. This is roughly going around £30 in CEX. And then we've got the expensive one, which is Pokemon Soul Silver. And this is in beautiful condition. So if I was to sell on eBay, I'd get more than what like you'd get in CEX. They'd just give you a flat fee for it. So if it was all ripped, I'd probably get well no, they do mint, don't they actually? But anyway, I'm just talking crap so um, <laughs> yeah the music magpie won't know the value uh, sorry won't know the condition so they just give you a flat value anyway but yeah it'd be interesting to see what well it'll be alarming as well <laughs> anyway so when you're selling you go to the sell bit on the um up there look sell on the uh, app, this is for iOS. I don't know if it looks different for Android. It should be the same, though. And obviously go on there. 
and there's your barcode scanner. So all we need to do is just get our games. Hopefully they'll scan. <laughs> this will be a crap video. There we go. So first one, and if I can, so getting eleven p for that one, which I don't know, maybe CEX would give me a penny. So we're up, we're up on CEX. <laughs> okay, next up then is Castlevania. Mirror of Fate, fantastic game by the way, if you haven't played it. The 3D effects on it are just outstanding. And just scan that barcode. If it'll let me. There we go. So £5.85 they'll give me for that. And remember that's a £30 game. So I think with the £30 game CEX would probably give me around... 15. Okay, if you see any jump cuts, I do apologise, but I keep getting messages through on the phone. So, <laughs> anyway, um, next up is Resident Evil Deadly Silence on the DS. And as I say, this is roughly £40 in CX. Let's see what Music Magpie will give me. Oh, £3.13. <laughs> That's less than. Castlevania. Wow, that is interesting. <laughs> I think in um, CEX I'd probably get about 20, 25 maybe. I'm not sure. Wow, okay. Next up then is Dragon Quest Journey of the Fair, uh, Curse King. And this is a £40 game, roughly, maybe 38 So... Should I be getting £3.13, same as Resident Evil Deadly Survivor? Let's see. £4.49. Wow. Okay. And last up is the expensive game, which is Pokemon Soul Silver. So this has got all its bits, remember, it's got the Poker Walker and things like that. And here we go. So they will give me... Uh, here we go. So Soul Silver, just at the top there, £5.90, giving me a total value of these games of £19.48. Yeah. So let's have a look at CEX, see what they would offer me, if I can get that in focus. There we go. Now, if you go to the search, you can do the same and scan the barcode. So don't always work though on CEX for some reason, but let's have a look. There we go. So on here, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. So this is Dragon Quest, and I can get, really sorry about this. So I'm going to go by the cash price, because that is what I would get off Music Magpie, and they would give me £17, as opposed to £4. I'm already at the, well, pretty much at the total amount of the other one. For all the games, Resident Evil, Deadly Silence. Uh, there you go, cash £23, voucher 33 and it's a £50 game. Wow. Uh, can't believe that. Castlevania. So we're already at 32, is it? Or maybe 40, 20... 42. Was it 25? I think it was 25 on it, the last one. And then 17 on the first one. So 42. 14 on this one, so that's 56. So what would they give me for the cheap game? If it'll scan. <laughs> 30p. So the, even Music Magpie give me less than that. And last up is... So silver. 
Wow. So they would give me £92 as opposed to £5. Oh, it was six quid, wasn't it, on the last one. So, yeah, 112 on the voucher. Absolutely crazy. And that's the difference between them both. And <laughs> like I say, though, we, if you... I'll just get back onto Music Magpie. If you go onto the... Here we are. So if you go onto the end section here, you can save it or complete. So at least they're up front, they tell you, they give you that option. But as you can see here, Pokemon Soul Silver for 590 is just absolutely disgusting, really. All of them are, except my awesome mate. In fact, no, that's a third of what <laughs> CEX are giving me. But, yeah, that's uh, that's just a little video to show you that Music Magpie, although great for buying from, do not sell to. But, I mean, you'd understand that anyway once you're scanning. But, yeah, it just shocked me. And uh, I don't know how many other people have been on Music Magpie to have a look at selling, but... If you haven't, then I think I've saved you a bit of time. But I just want to say thank you for watching. Um, I hope you like this video. Just a little thing to keep the page ticking over, I guess. But I'll be back with a pickups video very soon for the last two months. What we're in May, so it'll be March and April. And yeah, I just want to say thank you for watching and take care.